Okay, so now that I'm downstairs, I'm go going to essentially follow uh, a few guides, but to make it easier for everyone, I basically have everything you need on the SD card. So this reading is just basically educating yourself or if you, you're unsure of the steps. Um, you can follow this guide here. It's flimflam69. Uh, it's on GitHub. But you can also find it by going to uh, loadin.ovh, so L-O-A-D-I-I-N-E dot O-V-H, and then click on Tutorials. And that'll automatically open open it up to FlimFlam69's webpage. The virtual Wii, the, so Section 7, the VWE modding. And this is going to tell you basically to prepare your SD card uh, format it to uh, FAT32, so forth. Download a few files and go to a web page. So, again, I have everything on your SD card. So, I'll put the SD card in the Wii and then go ahead and turn it on. There's also another guide um, just back into uh, loading.ovh right at the let's get started uh, part. You can follow steps. Uh, here's how to pre actually prepare your SD card and format it. It has the GUI formatter for a Windows uh, PC. And then it tells you how to set up your DNS and step number two and block updates so forth. And then this one tells you how to run the homebrew exploit. So, this is this is exactly what we're going to do to get homebrew onto our uh, Wii. On our Wii, we have the SD card put in, and now we're going to uh, open up the web browser. And then in the address bar, we're going to type loadin.ovh to run the exploit. There's my stylus. So here in the top, we're going to type in l o a d i i n e dot o v h. There you go. You see, it's typed in. So this will automatically forward to the correct version or correct firmware. I'm using 5.5.1, so it's actually encouraged uh, everyone to upgrade now to 5.5.1. That's the latest uh, firmware in which this exploit works, so we need to ensure that we're on 5.5.1. Uh, then we're going to select this box here. So now we're going to launch the Homebrew Browser. and then push submit so at this point in time if your um, if your screen goes blank or freezes up or anything just go ahead and do a quick reboot uh, sometimes you gotta do this once or twice but once we actually get the uh, the mod installed, uh, this will no longer be an issue. So I'm just going to reboot quickly. So again, we're going to launch the internet browser. And then I have it bookmarked here. It's a good idea to bookmark it for now. And I'm going to select Homebrew Launcher. There you go. You get that Wii U in the corner. That's a good sign that uh, the mod is going to work uh, again. So go ahead and do that. So there you go, whoever is running this mod, 
this is what you guys should see because you have all this on your uh, SD card. So we're going to scroll over now. We're going to run the uh, so run this GUI. So let's just run the GUI. Let's go load that. So this is basically uh, going to install um, Homebrew on your Me channel on your virtual Wii. So we're going to say yes to inject the hack. So we're going to push A. So it's doing the I, iOS U exploit. So it says it's successfully injected the WUP hacks. So now essentially we have the Homebrew browser on the virtual Wii. Now we're basically wide open to uh, exploiting the uh, virtual Wii. So now we're going to go ahead and boot into the virtual Wii. So now that the uh, Wii U is booted up, we're going to click on the Wii channel here. So this is now booting the Wii U into the Wii mode. So basically in the Wii mode, of course on the old Wii's, the gamepad didn't work. So in this mode, the game, gamepad ain't going to work either. So we're going to push A. So now basically what we did here, we trans transformed the Mi channel into a homebrew browser. So now we're going to uh, just click on this and go start. So it's going to run the uh, an exploit now and this is basically going to install uh, homebrew browser so you'll see this big warning again you know it's saying it's not it shouldn't be sold right neither alone or part of a bundle so do not pay for this software it's all free you know that's my big issue is that you know you really don't need to be paying for this stuff donate some money to the developers that's a better cause you know people doing these mods they shouldn't be charging for this I mean unless you can't do it by yourself then by all means go ahead but uh, it says here that you really shouldn't be paying for it so we're going to push 1 to continue and then we're just going to push continue again pull up and install the homebrew channel and then we're going to say yes to continue alright success let's go continue and let's go exit there you go here's the homebrew channel so this allows us to run all kinds of cool programs uh, install the uh, any wad files any of the channel forwarders and so forth so right now we're just going to exit this we're going to exit to the system menu So now essentially your your me channel is broken in a way, but we're actually going to fix that and just have the homebrew channel. So we're going to go back into the Wii U menu and we're going to fix our me channel. So this is the good thing. So we're kind of breaking it to run the exploit and then we're going to repair it again. So that's quite cool. Uh, this is the latest hack, so you don't need a, uh, a Lego Batman or anything for the Wii. Um, that method is old school, thanks to the, the, the community, really, that uh, we have these nice hacks. So we're going to go back into the web browser again and load in .ovh. So I'm going to click on my bookmark again. 
So for those who forgot, it's uh, L-O-A-D-I-I-N-E dot O-V-H. And we're going to run the uh, homebrew launcher again, so just click Submit. Again, if it freezes at any point in time, go ahead and reboot it. Okay, so it didn't freeze, so that's good. All right, so we're going to go back to the... WUP hacks. So we're going to use the GUI and then we're going to go load. So now we, instead of pushing A, we actually want to push B because what we did last time, we basically, uh, we by pushing A, we actually broke the ME channel and we injected the uh, WUP hacks. And at that point in time, we also put a backup of our channel on our SD card. So now that's what we're going to do. We're going to push B, which is on the back of your remote. And we're going to restore the uh, the mod itself. If, if B don't work on your remote, uh, use B on the gamepad because you're in Wii mode. So okay, so the Mi channel is actually restored. So now when we click on our Mi, we're always, the Mi channel, we're always not uh, running the exploit. So what we accomplished so far, we uh, we have the me channel back, and we have the homebrew uh, channel installed all on our virtual Wii. So this is where we can get all of our good Nintendo games, uh, every Nintendo game, every Super Nintendo game, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead now. We're going to boot back into the Wii channel, or to the Wii only.